friends uh, this is 24 hour bar 7 timer so today we are going to see this timer working and uh, the types of timers so first of all this two is uh, auxiliary supply and three terminals for relay so first of all we are going to see the terminals that mean the structure of 24 bar 7 timer see here so here mentioned for auto and manual operation and then here mentioned for the day that mean the week of the days sunday monday tuesday those are the things will be mentioned on here after that the hours are mentioned down the inside of the line see this spindle will be rotated for the 24 bar 7 so at this point is a indication point that means the point reached reach that time the teeth are up or down the conductor conduct that means the conduction is processed so see here so this T is based to this timer working so this teeth is up means the timer is enabled and the teeth is down is the timer is uh, disabled so this is the concept this one so after that we are going to see the connections of timer and then how to work the timer function and then types of timer those are things we are going to see now see here uh, for generally any of motor or any of the applications we have the application that application going to run through user our 24 bar 7 timer so that's the thing the application going to run the output side any of some work that means if you run the blower motor the smoke a relative smoke uh, pull outing motor or any of motor you have so that motor going to run out pull out the smokes and uh, any of that so this motor need for supply through the conductor so if you use it for single phase motor you can use single phase conductor suppose you can use for three phase you need to use for three phase conductor so this is the input supply so after that this input supply through conductor the how the conductor going to switch on by the way of 24 bar 7 timer so this is a timer connection actually we always use for the spindles that mean the relay through relay so already I, s I showed for the timer auxiliary supply that auxiliary supply we need to give for 230 voltage AC or otherwise some special timer having a 24 voltage DC or 12 voltage DC any of that so here I take for 230 voltage AC so we need to connect for supply and then this is for timer supply that means the Simon auxiliary supply the NES system need for power supply and no? that's why we need to give auxiliary supply so after that we are giving for the supply for common and normally close and normally open these three, three terminals are available in timer relay so here we are giving supply through for common common supply common terminal and then we take out the supply for normally open that means the normally open so here we are giving for neutral for directly to the a2 for conductor so in this case the timing spindle that means already showing for the spindle of oh, that time the teeth are up means the timer has been enabled and the teeth are down means the timer has been disabled that means timer is enabled the motor has been run the timer is disabled the motor has been stopped that means the up condition so this is a simple connection of 24 bar 7 or any of timer you can e easily connect like this only so here any of input we need to give for the timer any of that you can use for the starter timer or uh, 24 bar 7 timer 24 timer staircase timer any of that you need to give us some message to the timer that means uh, if you giving a command to the timer then only the command going to switch on the output application so here we are giving settings that means the default settings we are giving the message of the timer so that's why the timer going to automatically run the uh, output of the motor so this is a here we are giving for timing signal that means the timing settings so after that the application has been run and then the output of the application that means the application means we run the motor and the motor having some output side application so this is the thing happened here see here the timing settings mostly available on here 
like this only that means the 24 bars 24 hour time and means the timings are mentioned here like this 6 9 12 24 like this so these teeth are already showed for the reality structure of the timer so this point is the indication that means that this position reached as a spindle though teeth are up or down based to through the timer has been enabled or disabled so that means the timer relay so after that uh, the if in case the 24 bar 7 means the uh, splitters are comes here that means the 12 24 6 timings are mentioned for the particular days so this is for manual not to uh, go through the switches that means the pass out the switches so here mentioned for the days sunday monday any of that that the seven days we are mentioned here for 24 bar 7 timer so this is the timer real structure that means the uh, diagrammatical structure already we see in the real structure so see here so this is the most important one we need to setting the timing so after that we are going to see the timers the what are the timers are available in market and the how the timer has been and how the timer has been run and how the timer going to work so timers types today this is we are going to see now uh, the 24 hours timer first one is and then second one is 24 bar 7 timer and then third one is on delay timer and then fourth one is off delay timer fifth one is staircase timer and sixth one is stored ultra timer so these are the timer mostly we use for the control purpose of in control uh, control panels so here the first one is 24 hour timer already we seen in the previous videos and then the second one is now we are seeing that one the 24 bar 7 and staircase timer and solid timer already we seen and then on 24 hour timer is currently we are seeing here so on delay timer and off delay timer that means uh, what's the function of on delay and off delay on delay means that if your supply is switched down after some times that on delay going to activate the relays and then off delay means the supply is switched off after some times the relay going to disable the supplies that means the their functions so this is a very important one so that's the thing will be shown here see here switch on application for the on delay timer that means if you switch on if you in case you have a AC you have switch on after the three minutes or four minutes for the compressor uh, rising so this is a message to giving to the timer and then timer going to switch on so this is the on delay and off delay difference so here uh, already we seen for staircase timer the staircase timer means if you have uh, any staircase uh, we need to go for the upstairs of the staircase and uh, otherwise we come back to the staircase so we going to switch on the one time so that means the if you have a, a switch in the starting stage so we are going to on the switch the staircase has enabled so already we seen the on delay and off delay timers so there is a not required to see the deep non delay and off delay timers so staircase timer means uh, you are going to switch on the starting stage of staircase and then otherwise off far down that is not a matter you can switch on the one stage after the you are reaching that stage that the automatically we light going to switch off this is the time this is the thing we need to use for the staircase timer so this is having a 3 30 seconds 1 minute or 2 minutes in other and start order timer mostly we use for the uh, star order starter so that case we use for star order timer this is the main purpose of timers and the functions if you have any doubt please comment here thank you for watching otherwise don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you